Hi, I'm Colin, and today we're going to talk about six different ways that you can cut a paving stone. Let's get started. So before we get into cutting paving stones, I want to talk a little bit about marking a paving stone. There's a variety of utensils you can use, permanent markers, crayons, carpenter's pencils. Today we're going to be using a paver marker. Um, what I like to do is measure exactly how big the cut needs to be and then mark it on that. That way when I cut it, the saw blade will give me a little bit of wiggle room uh, in case it's not quite accurate. So you're just going to mark one end and then mark the other end. Then I like to take a trowel or some form of a straight edge and that just helped me establish a good straight line from end to end. So the first way that we're going to talk about cutting a paving stone today is probably the most basic way and that is to split it with uh, a hammer and chisel. Uh, this is probably the most cost effective way just because most people already have a hammer and chisel. It's not going to make the cleanest cut but if you only have a few cuts that you have to make and it's not super important that they look the best, then this will work just fine. So basically what you wanna do is take your chisel and kinda of give it a little bit of a score. We're gonna kinda of tap across the mark of the cut to ensure a nice clean finish. And then you're gonna give it a few good whacks to the center and that should split it in half. Okay, so that's pretty clean. All you'd have to do after this is just basically clean it up the, the rough edges with a hammer and chisel uh, to make it look the best. The second option to cutting a paving stone is the use of a paver splitter. The paver splitter is cool because it's clean, um, it can do a lot nicer of a split than a hammer and chisel, and it can be a lot faster. So all you really have to do is Feed your paver in between here. Just line the, the jaws up with your mark, nice and clean. Just apply a little bit of pressure and split it right down the middle. So the third option to cutting a paving stone that we're gonna be talking about today is the use of a traditional skill saw with a diamond blade. So the diamond blades that are gonna be sold for these are primarily gonna be wet and dry blades. Uh, we don't like to condone cutting dry because silica dust is very harmful and also illegal in some states. So we're going to show you what it looks like to cut a stone dry and then we're also going to be doing it wet. This is the fourth way that you can cut a paving stone. This is what's known as a demolition saw. You can get these at any uh, tool rental yard. They're extremely versatile because they can cut wall or paving stones as well as metal if you have an abrasive blade. Uh, they're also very portable because they run off of a gasoline engine and you can hook up a hose to most of them uh, for, to be able to cut wet. So the fifth option for cutting a paving stone uh, is the use of a tile saw. This is a pretty uh, large and intricate tile saw. There are a variety of different types of tile saws. Um, the main thing is this is a saw that uses a 10 inch blade. You can get an abrasive finish or a regular finish. Uh, as long as it's a diamond blade, it'll efficiently cut through a paving stone. Uh, it's pretty fast, it cuts very clean, and it probably wouldn't cost you a whole lot to rent from a tool rental yard. So the sixth way that we're going to demonstrate on how to cut a paving stone is the use of an IQ saw. So the IQ series of saws are unique because they are a dry dustless system. So you don't have to worry about a wet slurry getting on anything um, or an intense amount of silica dust 
so that you can keep your job site cleaner overall.